Hey guys, welcome to another episode of DNS Adventures and today I'm going to be sharing a tool that is very essential to RV living. Yeah. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing the Max Chalk. And not just one chalk, two chalks. So a company called Max Chalks recently reached out to me and said, hey, we have a product we'd like you to review. So they sent me the link of that product. I took a look at it and you know what? It looked like a good quality product. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and review it. So prior to receiving this product, we've been using this X Chalk here. And you can see, you have to go through here and manually crank this guy on and off. And you gotta forgive me over the spider webs. We have not taken the RV out this year yet. <laughs> so Max Chalks sent me this case with two of their chalks inside of it. And let's take a look at those. So I'm gonna put the X chalk right next to this. So you can kind of see the difference. As you can see, the mechanism that tighten the X chalk is on the top. The mechanism that tighten the Max chalk is on the side. One of the main advantages to this you can actually hook up a drill and put a socket on here to tighten and loosen up this chalk as this one you would have to do it manually every time. It comes with a 13 millimeter attachment. So I just come in here with my chalk, stick this in here, drill going, and you're done in about two seconds. And when you want to take it off, put your drill on here, and you're done. Come in here with the previous X chalk we owned. cranking. Sometimes you gotta spin this top to get it tight there. Still doesn't take incredibly long. But time is money in this world, right? So just comparing the overall design between the Max Chalk and the X Chalk here. The Max Chalk seems to be a little bit taller. So I'm guessing you could probably fit this between a bigger gap of tires than you could with the X chalk. The pads look about the exact same size between these two, same sort of design. The Max chalks does have these convex um, circles on here. It looks like it probably have a little bit better grip than the X chalk on the outside. It's just flat in these holes on the X chalk. In case you're worried about maintenance, I doubt you've ever actually had to add grease into this, but it does have a grease zerk in here if you did need to add some grease into this thing in order to keep this mechanically sound. They both have handles on here for easy access. Looks like this one came a little loose over time, but that can just be tightened up. As for a price comparison between these two chocks, I just looked up on Amazon and today is mid-August of 2022, so these prices could change over time. But as of now, um, these X chocks for a pair of these, it's about $78, $80. For a pair of these, it's about $100. So it really depends if you want to go manual or something a little bit quicker. And I'm guessing probably a little bit more stable than the X chocks, just due to a little bit more grip here on the sides and just a wider base. So one thing I was kind of curious of is, does it really matter to have an X chalk on both sides or is one sufficient? And previously we were just running this one X chalk on one side of the RV, but now I'm gonna compare that feeling versus two of these Max chalks. So it's not really a totally fair comparison because I don't have two of these X chalks to run up against each other. But I just wanna kind of see what it feels like to have two X or two Max chalks versus one X chalk. So the main thing that these chocks are gonna help with is the front to back movement. Side to side movement, you'll probably need some other sort of chalk, or in our case, we'd need something to stabilize the front end of our fifth wheel to keep us from swaying from side to side. 
but from front to back, these, these chocks are really meant to help with that aspect. This is well, without any chocks whatsoever. Let's go put on that single X truck. All right, so once again, throwing on this X truck here. Let's go check out that water again. All right, so this is with a single X truck. Let's first do front to back again. Still quite a bit of wobble in there. Let's do side to side. Yeah, not a whole lot the X truck can do from side to side. Now let's take off this X truck and just do a single max truck. I'm assuming it's going to have fairly similar results. All right, so now it's just one max chalk. Again, I'm assuming this will probably be fairly similar to the X chalk. This is front to back. And side to side. Again, I don't think any single X truck or Max truck would be able to help the side to side. Let's throw the other Max truck on there to see if it makes a difference. And however you store these will depend on how long it takes to put them back on and off the tire. If you have these completely sealed up and put them in the case, it'll obviously take longer than if you just keep it slightly loosened. I'll just show you what I mean. So that is about how long it takes to um, tighten it from it being completely closed all the way up. But usually when I store these things, I just keep them maybe like an inch, two inches a little bit shorter than the span of the tires. That way I can just slap them on. So it really just depends if you want to throw it back in that case it came with or not. Either way, there's no cranking you have to do here. You just get your drills going and you're good to go. All right guys, here's the true test. Now we have both max chocks on either side of the RV. Let's do the front to back. Yeah, it's, it's a big difference. <laughs> it's barely moving that water at all. Side to side is what I'm curious of. Yeah, side to side, I think you'll still need that front stabilizer in the front of your RV because the max chocks really only keep those tires in place. Yeah guys, I guess we've just been cheap over the past two and a half years or so. I honestly didn't think adding an extra chalk would help much on the other side keeping it stabilized. But after that water test and just feeling it by standing in here, it definitely makes a big difference of putting an X chalk on both sides. I guess just a little bit of extra wiggle room in those tires on the other side of your RV does make a difference. The water test itself wasn't exactly a scientific test. Maybe I was giving more pressure to one or the other. I don't know. I was trying to be consistent pushing my force back and forth each time. But it did seem as though the Max Chalks may have had a slight advantage just because it has a bigger, or because it has a slightly better grip on those tires. I don't think either one, the tires are moving when I'm moving it back and forth. So I don't think that's as big of a selling point between the two products. But definitely if you are gonna get a chalk of any kind, I think getting two of them is definitely an advantage I could definitely tell the difference of um, stabilization when I put both of those on there. So personally, we've never had any issues of anyone trying to steal our chocks off our RV or our RV for that matter, luckily. <laughs> but a couple other things that do come in these boxes, you can actually lock these max chocks with this cable lock here. So if you wanna add just a hair extra security to your RV, if you wanna um, keep someone from moving those chocks out of the, out of the way, you can slap in these two combination locks, one on either side. There have been a couple RV parks where we've been to, it's been a little iffy <laughs> in that area. So we probably would have put these on in that particular case, just to add that extra little layer of security. Could someone cut through this with cable cutters? Yes, but they would just give them that much more struggle to steal your RV. 
And in case you're curious where those cable ties go, they just go in this hole right here. That way someone can't put on a wrench in order to loosen and tighten this um, chalk off your RV. So looking at the build quality of these things, they look very sturdy. Um, I don't see any issues with it whatsoever. I think I'll have to do a longer term review in the future. This is just kind of an initial impression. I have not taken this out on the road yet in order to actually um, test these and get Deanna's opinion as well, but I'm sure that'll be coming up in a future video. Seems like a very good product and we will definitely be using these over that x chalk that we had previously. Why am I going to use it instead of the x chalk? Well, it's much quicker to put on. There's two of them with equal stabilization on both sides, so I'm going to use that. And it's nice having the extra added security of that lock in case we ever need it. So if I was in the market for x chocks and I wasn't sent a pair of these for free, would I buy the max chalk over the x chalk? I would say yes, just because it's quicker, slightly more stable, and you can lock it. Those are really the main key differences between the two products. Now, if you don't bring your drill with you, however, it'll probably take about the same time between the x chalk and the max chalk, so there might not be as big of an advantage with the max chalk. And in the case, it does come with this manual tool in case you don't want to use a drill on it. Hook that up just as you would any socket wrench and you just twist it on and off. So they do even say in here, they recommend using a cordless drill rather than using the handle method because well, that's the main advantage of having this max chalk versus the X chalk is you can actually use the drill on this to make it a nice speedy connection. So would I still recommend the X chalk for people that don't want to have the ability to use their drill on it? Sure, it's, it's a fine product. Um, it just really depends if you want to have access to tighten it in the front or on the top. The top is a little bit harder to get to, depending on how your RV set up. The front, you just get in there and tighten it up. So the Max Chalk does have that advantage over the X Chalk, but X Chalk still works just fine. It worked for two and a half years, so I'm not going to diss this product at all, but I do like the Max Chalks a little bit better. Well guys, that pretty much wraps up my review. If you think the Max Chalks are worth that extra $20, um, let me know in the comments below. I'd like to hear your opinion. If you own Max Chalks, if you own X Chalks, what have been your personal experience with those products? If you guys like this video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like it. You can also check us out at dnsadventures.com. And as always, adventure on. Thank <laughs> you.